Okay guys, so this is gonna be my first time sublimating a tumbler in a convention oven. As you can see, I found this one at my local Goodwill for $20. They did have other ones, but it was mini convention ovens and this was the biggest size that they have. And I actually could fit three sublimation tumblers in there if I wanted to. So you can go to your local Goodwill and maybe they have cheaper ones. I know I follow this girl on YouTube who said that she bought her convention oven for eight bucks at her goodwill if you want to buy a brand new one you can but i wanted to test it out first and i got this one that says bake convention i've seen others that just have the bake option and some don't even have that option they still use this the toaster oven but they also have an actual sublimation oven that you can get it's like 200 300 like i said you can get one for cheap at goodwill and see if you like it and then you can invest into a better option but this is what i'm going to use to see if i like how it sublimates on my tumblers so i do have a regular tumbler press but to be honest i don't like the smell that it throws out i know it's the plate because i had a mug press and it was the same smell but this tumbler press has a stronger smell where i have to open all my windows when i'm doing cups so that's a big downfall on maybe it's just is my type of tumbler press i did purchase it on amazon i don't know if you guys have that same odor you know that strong smell when you are sublimating you can comment below maybe it's not just me but i wanted to go ahead and test this out to see if it works i've been seeing a lot of people do it now once you convert this into a sublimation oven you cannot use this for food anymore it has to strictly be for your cups so what you're going to need besides the convention oven is heat resistant gloves heat resistant tape and they also use a tumbler wrap where you have to use a heat gun but some people just slide the tumbler in the plastic wrap and they put it in the oven and it shrinks itself that's what it's called a shrink wrap not a plastic wrap shrink wrap and you can go from there but i am going to test out painter's tape after i'm done taping up the design with my heat resistant tape i'm going to go ahead and apply the painter's tape on top of that and then we're going to put it in here so you also want to use either alcohol or a clorox wipe to clean out your tumbler to take out any residue from oil or anything that may be on the cup i'm going to preheat my oven for 350 degrees and then we're going to do six minutes on the cup so we're going to rotate it every two minutes that's how i seen one of the girls that i am subscribed to on youtube that's how i seen her do it if i don't like how it comes out i may just play around with the timing to see which you know time is perfect and for my next video i'm going to be showing you guys using the shrink wrap to see whether i like the painter's tape better than the shrink wrap and so on and so forth so without further ado i'm going to show you guys what image i'm going to be applying to my cup and then go from there so this is the image that i'm going to be sublimating on my tumbler i found this on etsy they have so many different options on etsy that you can choose from and i am going to be doing the height at um, eight inches because anything above that is too long for the cup and then for width i'm going to try 9.365 i'm actually printing it out now because i did 9.330 and it was just too short in width and still see the tumbler so i want to have the image touching each other close enough so that it's a seamless look so that we don't have ghosting you can do like a little overlap so if mine's print out with a little overlap i'm okay with that you just want to make sure that you're taping the image onto your cup as tight as possible so there's no air bubbles you don't cause any ghosting i'm going to show you guys how i tape it up and everything so let's go ahead and print this image out i've already cut my image off camera and i left a little bit of the white around on the top side and bottom just a little bit and i did cut off over here i do have a little bit of white showing here i don't want to cut too much because i don't want to cut the actual image but what i'm going to do is i'm going to overlap it a little bit where the white is over on this side so that it can be able to have that seamless look so we're going to go ahead and flip the cup over. You can also lay the cup down and place the cup in the middle of the image, but I like to do it like this. So we're going to go ahead and just make sure that it's lined up correctly. And then I am going to, you want to, as tight as you can, place the paper, like push the paper together as tight as you can so that there's no air bubbles and you don't want any ghosting, anything like that. So you want to go ahead and just make sure that is tight as tight as possible <music> Okay, so 
now that we have already taped up the middle part, I went ahead and applied the heat resistant tape in the bottom and on the top. And I just folded the paper inside and secured it with the heat resistant tape. Now we're gonna just go ahead and place the painter's tape on top of the heat resistant tape. I thought that this one was gonna be bigger. I actually bought this on Timo, but it actually comes with two in the pack and it looks like it's just one big one. So we're just gonna go ahead and work with this. So I'm just gonna place some painter's tape in the middle. Now you don't have to do this option. You can actually just use the shrink wrap, but I wanted to do it this way to see how I like how it comes out. And I'm just gonna secure the top and the bottom again too. You wanna go around the cup as tight as possible. Tucking it in. Same thing with this side. I'm just gonna add one more right here. And I'm gonna use my squeegee and just make sure that it's on there and it's secured. I've never used painter's tape, so we're gonna go ahead and see how this comes out. And I bought this on Timu as well. We're gonna go ahead and put this in and we're gonna put it for six minutes total, but every two minutes we're gonna go ahead and flip it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and turn it off now. And I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes before I unwrap it. And as you can see, the image is already peeking through. So now, I so I bought these gloves from Timo. I don't think I'm gonna keep using them. I'm gonna buy some from Amazon because as you can see, some of the pink went on to the paper so i'm hoping that that doesn't peek through and show through the tumbler but let's go ahead and let it cool off and we're going to see how it comes out all right so we're going to go ahead and reveal the design and let's see again this is my first time using a sublimation oven and we're going to go ahead and remove the tape next time i'm going to buy the shrink wrap and see which one i like better this with the painter's tape or with the shrink wrap Now everyone does the time and temperature for like they do different minutes and time and um and temperature as well. So it just depends, I guess, on which convention oven you buy. I went ahead and used the time and temperature from one of the YouTubers that I I love to watch her videos. So that's the temperature and time that I did for this convention oven. So this is how it came out. Now I could have done it a little bit, as you can see right here, I could have done it a little bit tighter. I think it was because I left some white on the edge, on one of the sides. But overall, I love how it came out. The colors are very vibrant. I'm gonna give you guys a closer look as well. Okay, so here's a closer view. As you can see, it came out perfect, beautiful. So the only problem that I had was the seam. I wanted it to be a seamless look, but like I said, I left some of that white on it. So I think that's where I messed up. That was actually a trick that I seen somebody else do and I wanted to try it because I normally cut both sides of the excess paper. I always cut both sides off. I love how it came out. But I had so much fun making this cup in the convention oven. Like I said, it was my first time. Next time I'll use the shrink wrap and see if I like it better than the painter's tape. But overall, the cup came out so nice. Comment below what you think about the cup. Again, this is my first time, so be nice. <laughs> but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and click on that bell notification so that you can be notified whenever I do post a new video.